We're going to start a series on this vlog and also in our companion blog that will be surrounding the wonderful world of pharmacology. Wikipedia has a pretty good definition that we've modified slightly with pharmacology, and it defines pharmacology as follows. It comes from the Greek uh, contraction pharmakon, which is poison in classic Greek, or drug in modern Greek, and logia, which means study of. It is the branch of medicine and biology concerned with the study of drug action. More specifically, it is the study of interactions that occur between a living organism and chemicals that affect normal or abnormal biochemical function. If substances have medicinal properties, they are considered pharmaceuticals. The field encompasses drug composition and properties, interactions, toxicology, therapy, and medicinal applications and antipathogenic capabilities. The two main areas of pharmacology are pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics. The former studies the effects of the drugs on the biological systems, and the latter the effects of the biological systems on the drug. In broad terms, pharmacodynamics discusses the interactions of chemicals with biological receptors, and pharmacokinetics discusses the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion of chemicals from the biological systems. In this series, we'll be talking about pharmacology. Pharmacology is not synonymous with pharmacy, and the two terms are frequently confused, even by educated people. Pharmacology deals with how drugs affect the body and how the body, quote, deals with drugs that it's exposed to. On the other hand, pharmacy is a biomedical science concerned with the preparation, dispensing, dosage, and the safe and effective use of medicines. In our series of posts, we'll be focusing on several different topics of pharmacology. Part one will be this introduction. Part two will be pharmacokinetics. Part three will be pharmacodynamics. Part four will be bioavailability. Part five will be the important distinction between free versus bound drug. And part six will be the elucidating of pharmacodynamic effect from an analytical chemistry result.